The HUD Environmental Review online system, commonly known as HEROES, is used by responsible entities, partner users, and HUD staff to prepare and submit environmental reviews for HUD-funded projects and activities. This video will guide you through the steps that are necessary to obtain access to HEROES. The form provides HEROES access to two primary groups. Responsible Entities, or REs, are responsible for creating Part 58 environmental reviews for their jurisdiction. They are typically staff of HUD's Office of Community Planning and Development entitlement communities. Partner users can work on either Part 50 or Part 58 environmental reviews. Nonprofits, or public housing authorities, PHAs, for instance, would need Part 58 access if they are working with an RE or Part 50 access if they're working with HUD. Consultants may need both Part 50 and Part 58 access, depending on their client and HUD funding program. To access HEROES, all users must first create an active account and profile by completing the HEROES access form. After the form is completed, HUD will validate the requester's information, role, and privileges, and then set up the user account. The HEROES access form can be found on the HEROES HUD Exchange webpage. To locate this link, go to the HEROES webpage on HUD Exchange. Click Responsible Entity Users or Partner Users Type. Click the HEROES access form link. All fields throughout the HEROES access form must be completed in order to proceed to the next page. The first field in the form requests an email to which HUD can email account notifications. After entering your email, click Next to proceed. The next page requests information about the user. After entering the information, click Next to proceed or Back to re-enter your account email. On the next page, you will see a question. Do you already have a HUD-issued B or C ID? This may be a user ID associated with the Integrated Disbursement and Information System IDIS. Your ID will be the letter B or C followed by five digits. If you don't have an existing ID, a new one will be created for you. Click the circle next to your response. Click Next to proceed. If you selected Yes, enter your B or C ID number. Then, determine whether you already have HEROES access if you selected No or I don't remember my ID, you will be prompted to enter a five-digit PIN. The five-digit PIN is any five numbers of your own choosing. It is used to set up your initial password and to reset your password if necessary. Enter a numerical five-digit PIN other than 12345 or any repeating number in a row Next, you will be asked to provide information on the organization that you work for. Please note that state agencies acting as HUD are not eligible for HEROES access at this time. Select the type of organization you work for from the drop-down menu. If you chose City, State, or Local Government, Responsible Entity, enter the name of your responsible entity. After entering the name of your organization, you will be asked, do you prepare environmental reviews for your organization? An environmental review preparer can view, edit, and create environmental reviews in HEROES. You should choose yes if you anticipate creating the environmental reviews for your jurisdiction or if you will be responsible for reviewing and editing reviews prepared by other users within your jurisdiction. The next question is, do you approve environmental reviews for your organization? An environmental review approver has the authority to sign the environmental review record. HUD recommends but does not require this be the certifying officer. You should select yes if you are responsible for reviewing and approving environmental reviews for your organization. The next question asks, are you a certifying officer? The certifying officer signs the request for release of funds and certification and takes legal responsibility for the environmental review. 
This role may be filled by certifying officers or their designees. Certifying officers are not required to have access to HEROES. Alternatively, certifying officers may sign a hard copy of the relevant document that can then be uploaded to HEROES. It is important to note, if someone other than the chief elected official is acting as certifying officer, a record of the delegation of signatory authority should be kept on file. The delegation of authority does not have to be submitted to HUD. Select yes if you are the certifying officer or you are a designee of the certifying officer. The final question on the screen asks, do you need HEROES administrator privileges? HEROES administrators have privileges to update contact information for users within their organization. They also have privileges to reassign environmental reviews and HEROES for their organization. Responsible entities may have more than one HEROES administrator. Click Yes if you will need administrator privileges. If you chose Tribal Government Responsible Entity as your organization type, you will be asked in which region is your tribe located. Select the ONAP area office in which your tribe is located. After entering the region, you will be asked what is the name of your tribe. Select the name of your tribe from the drop-down list. After entering the name of your tribe, proceed to fill in the form as described in the section for responsible entities. If you chose Public Housing Authority, you will be asked, what is the name of your Public Housing Authority? Enter the name of your Public Housing Authority in the field provided. The next question is, what is your PHA code? Enter your PHA code. If you choose Consultant for your organization type, you'll be asked the name of your organization. This is the name of the organization or company by which you are employed, such as a consulting firm, subrecipient organization, or lender. The partner organization is responsible for preparing and conducting the environmental review analysis on behalf of HUD or an RE. Enter the organization name in the field provided. When you are granted HEROES access, you may work on environmental reviews for a variety of HUD programs. The next question is, for which HUD program do you anticipate completing your first environmental review in HEROES? Select your answer. If you do not select Other, skip to the next step. If you select Other, proceed to the next question. For which HUD programs do you anticipate completing environmental reviews in HEROES? Enter the HUD program in the field provided. The next question is, who is legally responsible for and finalizes HUD environmental reviews for your organization? Please note, while partner users can assist with the preparation of the environmental review, only HUD or a responsible entity can finalize the review. If you select a responsible entity, you will arrive on the Part 58 page. The first question is, are you an authorized officer for certifying the request for release of funds for non-RE recipients? Select yes or no. The next question is, what is the name of the responsible entity that completes your environmental reviews? The responsible entity is the unit of general local, state, or tribal government that is legally responsible for completing the environmental review, such as the City of Los Angeles. A housing development organization, nonprofit, or public housing authority would not be the RE. If your organization works with multiple REs, please submit a separate online form for each RE. The next question is, is the responsible entity for your environmental reviews a tribe? Select yes or no. If you selected yes, you will be asked in which region, ONAP area office, is the tribe located? Select the ONAP area office in which the tribe is located from the drop-down menu. You will be asked 
What is the name of the tribe? Select the name of the tribe from the drop-down menu. Click Next to proceed. If you selected HUD, you will arrive on the Part 50 page. You will be asked, what is the name of your HUD contact for environmental reviews? The HUD contact is the HUD staff assigned to your environmental review and receives all environmental review documents. Enter your response. If you selected both Part 50 and Part 58, you will be taken to both the Part 50 and Part 58 questions. You will provide the name of the HUD contact and the name of the responsible entity for which you will be preparing environmental reviews. Click Next to proceed. You have now entered all required information to complete your HEROES Access Request Form. Click back to change any answers as necessary or submit to send your request. Your request for access will be sent directly to the HUD Heroes team, who will then begin the process of setting up your account. Your new Heroes account will typically be ready within two to three weeks. When your account has been activated, you will receive a welcome letter via email from the HUD Heroes team with instructions for logging in to your new account.